Hi guys, it's John here and this is November's and Android 12's first benchmark for the Galaxy S21. So on the left we have the Exynos 2100 as always and on the right we have here the Snapdragon 888. Now sadly the Snapdragon 888 is still on its October update and I check every day religiously but sadly it still is stuck on the October update. Now the Exynos on the other hand got its November update at the very end of October so it's been waiting patiently for the Snapdragon to catch up and sadly it has not yet done so. Now as we're already halfway through December or more than halfway through I can't really wait around anymore to do these tests because the next update that is sat waiting as you can see in the top here is the Android 12 update. So because the Snapdragon is still stuck on the October update as you can see here what we're going to have to do is just carry on regardless and just do the tests here on the Exynos. We can compare it to last month and see how it gets on. Last month, or I should say October now, it was a very good month for the Exynos. So we'll test November's update. I'll just skip through them and we can see them pretty much straight away rather than sitting through watching it when we can't really compare it to the Snapdragon here. So we'll go through November's updates and then we will do a upgrade to Android 12, do the updates again, and then we will also do a factory reset with Android 12 installed and just see if that makes any difference for the S21 Exynos 2100. Right, so I've installed Android 12 and gone through the updates and I thought it'd be easier just to show you in a quick Excel spreadsheet as to how it has performed. So here we've got in each column, we've got the November update with Android 11. We've got the Android 12 update installed on top of Android 11. And then we've got a fresh factory reset Android 12 installed with everything as defaults. So I've highlighted the best scores in each area and we can see quite clearly that Android 12 has beaten Android 11 in every test. But I will put on this screen some screenshots as well as we go through this. The Geekbench ones aren't that interesting to look at, but we can see here on the fresh install of Android 12, we've scored the highest ever Geekbench CPU result here with 1,105 in the single core and 3537 on the multi-core. So that beats the sort of in-place updated Android 12 and the standard Android 11 update for November. We then see the Geekbench compute score. So the fresh install was slightly lower, which is interesting. So Antutu benchmark results as well are quite interesting. So we scored the highest ever in our November Android 11 update, 750,758. And we've still beaten that in the fresh install with 755790, but we haven't actually beaten it compared to the test I did last night. We got an amazing 765214. So what is interesting, and I'll put this screenshot on the screen as well, is the Antutu stress test results. So the November update was quite disappointing really, the performance, this is just going by the performance by the way, in the spreadsheet, but the performance was pretty poor. The CPU was running at around 45 to 50% performance wise. With the Android 12 update installed on top, it jumped back up to a nice 70 to 85%, which is similar to what we saw in October really, so that was nice to see. But quite surprisingly, in the fresh install of Android, we have now gone up to, I'd say 75 to 95% CPU performance, which is the highest I've ever seen the Exynos 2100 do. We then move on to the wildlife test and we can see that the fresh install won with 6700. Again, this is the highest score the Exynos 2100 has ever gotten, at least on my S21 here. So compared to 6594 and 5761, you can see that this has really uh, been a much better result for the wildlife test. We scored an average 40 frames per second in the fresh Android install. Comparing that to the average frame rate of 34.5 on the November Android 11 update and 39.5 on the Android 12 in place update. So yeah, a huge uh, increase. Well, not a huge increase, but an increase nonetheless, which is always nice to see. We then have our slingshot test results. So we're still maxed out, which the Exynos has been pretty much every single month since release. And we can see on the fresh install, we've got graphics test one and two, 79.5 and 53.8. Got physics, part one, two, and three, 71, 44.7, 24.5. We compare that to the Android 11 update, 75.1, 52.4, and 72.2, 42.4, 23.6. And then with the in-place upgrade installed, we got 77, 54.2, 78.8, 44.0, and 24.8. So overall a win for Android 12 with its fresh install. So overall, I would say that it probably is worth doing a 
factory reset on your phone once it upgrades to Android 12. You can see from the results here that it doesn't make a massive difference, but it does seem to make a small difference at least. Now I have got all my apps reinstalled. It did take quite a long time actually. So it's not like it's a completely bare bones system. It is actually doing things in the background as I would normally expect it to. But yeah, overall it has performed better. And sadly the Snapdragon is still sat here just waiting for a November update. So yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get one. I presume they're either waiting just for Android 12 to get that out the door. And they seem to just be focused on the S22 series, which is understandable, I guess. But it is a shame that the Snapdragon has not actually gotten any of these updates yet. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do click on the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. If you want to support the channel, you can click on the join button and that really helps out. And if you have any questions or comments or want to put in your own scores down below, you can do so. It's always interesting seeing what other people get. And I have obviously put these scores in the results table on my site so we can see all the results going back to the release of the phone just to see how it's come along since it first launched. So again, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a good Christmas and holiday and look forward to making some new videos in the new year comparing the good old Exynos 2100 to the Exynos 2200 with its AMD GPU inside and just seeing what the Snapdragon can come up with to compete against it. So I think it's going to be an exciting year for phone CPUs. Let me know what you think is going to happen because it's uh, anyone's guess really at the moment. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.